Hi everyone, this is Sophia and welcome to a new video. To be honest, I was actually not sure that I would ever film this video because I have been going back and forth about this particular aspect of a lifestyle product that I've wanted for a long, long time on whether or not it would actually be useful for me. But in the end, on kind of an impulse purchase, I decided that I'm going to make it work. <laughs> and that is an agenda. I was definitely influenced by social media on this, but also because when I was in high school and college, having a planner was actually super, super helpful for me to not only keep me focused, but also keep me organized and help with my time management and get stuff you know, submitted in time for school. And I honestly kind of miss that. My nine to five is a very digital job. So sometimes I miss having like an analog thing to write down. And that is why I ended up biting the bullet. I've been going back and forth on whether or not to buy an agenda cover new versus used, just because I like obviously buying stuff new, but at the same time, there's really no reason for me to, especially when I'm perusing the real, real fashion file, you know, rebag. There's so many options for me to just buy it pre-loved. Every time I've gone to Louis Vuitton, I've gone to look at their agenda covers. And every time I've seen them, specifically the canvas monogram ones, I've been umming and eyeing for the last almost two years. This is a pretty big planner. It's like this bigger than my head. Even though it's big, I know I actually want to like travel with it, go places with it, go to cafes, etc. It's not something that I only want to have at my desk when I'm working. I want it to be useful for my daily life. And so when I think about that and I, when I think about like bringing something that big with so much monogram to like a cafe, to wherever, I just feel uncomfortable. And that's weird, I know, because I have, you know, like a Celine bag with the Celine Triumph. I have Go Yard card case with their, you know, Go Yard print on it. But something about <laughs> the monogram just truly makes me uncomfortable. And so I've been thinking about getting their Damier Bin, but every Louis Vuitton store I've gone to, they've never had that physically in person in stock. And so I just, I can't buy it without having seen it. Remember looking at their leather version, the black one in store when I was lost in Vegas. And while I liked it, I just thought, <sighs> I don't know if I want to spend all this money on just a black leather agenda, especially because the last few months I've been keeping an eye on the Real Real. They have sometimes gotten in all leather agenda covers in a different color, and those to me make my heart sing more. There was one that I actually regret not purchasing. It was like a dark navy blue. So beautiful. There was also a dark forest green, which... That one really hit me hard actually because I remember I was ready to buy it and then the next day it was sold. <laughs> anyway, so then when I saw this one in this beautiful burgundy, I just thought I have to have it. This is, you know, a vintage Taiga leather agenda cover from Louis Vuitton in the GM size. I'll do some close-ups of it, but my first impression when I first got this is actually, it definitely smelled like it hadn't been touched and it actually even came with the old inserts and i do mean like old like you can see that they're coloring even the fonts that they use are different they even have um a sticker sheet the quality of the leather had dulled a little bit i will say and so i actually went to target and i bought this leather wipes and that restored some shine for sure and i buffed it out with a microfiber cloth and it definitely helped kind of soften the leather a little bit, but I didn't need it to be super soft. I just needed it to feel like there was no layer of dust, which I'll insert a picture of it when I first got it that I took a photo of. You can see some wear on the button right here. So I think the person did try to use it a few times, but I feel like every video I've seen of the agenda covers, whether it's in leather or in canvas, there's always this wear around the button. So I don't think that's really avoidable. And then the inside looks like this. Again, I'll insert some close-ups. I also use a leather conditioner to wipe down the ring. Unfortunately, I don't have a photo of the ring before it was wiped down, but it was a little dull. There wasn't as much shine. Again, there was a layer of dust. So the reason why I didn't want to purchase the all new leather version of the Taiga Agenda was actually because the way they construct it, 
is that they kind of fold the leather over and then sew it down. And I knew that if you use this pocket too much, this leather will just rip. You know, I think that's one of the catches with the leather agenda is that unlike the canvas ones where it's like a piece of leather on the inside and then the canvas on the outside and then they have some sort of wax seal up the top, the leather agenda is they just fold the leather on top of each other. It's just something I have to be careful about. I think the place with the most wear on this particular one is right here in the pen holder. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not quite sure why. Um, and you can even see the leather lifting right here. That is my initial first impression with the leather agenda cover. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to use it. And now let's switch over to the overhead view so I can start putting my inserts in. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. So my experience with 8 Lotus was that it actually arrived pretty quickly and I only really loved their um, dashboards in terms of the dividers as well as these stickers which I think will be really helpful for me because right now I'm just kind of guessing when I'm going to be paid. And then I think this is honestly the most mentioned agenda brand cloth and paper i will say for cloth and paper they have a seven business day lead time before they ship stuff out oh this is cute so there it is actually this is a really nice bag so i got some lifestyle stickers i think there is actually different styles yeah so like you can see the wrong way there we go you can see shopping laundry cleaning i think this is just like a reminder calendar kind of situation dinner maybe stuff for delivery but yeah i just kind of like how there's different options for me to play with here and then these sticky tabs and then here are some art stickies again Honestly, there's probably no real reason for me to buy this. I'm curious about the quality of the stickiness because that is what I'm really picky about when it comes to sticky notes. This was a pure impulse purchase. Kind of curious. This has quite a bit of heft to it. And I think this is also like a recent thing that they came out with. I couldn't even take it out. Hang on. I guess I've got to rip it out like this. So it is actually a metal ruler right here with some stencils and then I got some plain old dot stickers again I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this <laughs> but you know it's probably better to have it than to not have it and then I did get a few inserts so here's just a regular ruled insert a dotted insert as well just wanted something dot that I can be a little bit more freeform with I don't know what this, I think this is just a receipt, right? Is there anything in here? Ooh, that's cute. It's a sample. This company, Noted Co., is actually where I bought the bulk of my inserts. So I didn't realize this until I bought it, but this company is actually based in Australia, and I have no problem supporting an international brand. Plus, I'm from Australia, so truly have no problem supporting an Australian brand. However, if I had known, I probably wouldn't have made my first or the bulk of my insert purchases from here only because I was running on a timeline. And so this box actually took about two and a half weeks to get to me here in Seattle because of international customs, because of flights. I think even just the fl process of getting from Australia to America, it took a solid week, but because I was on a time crunch, I was starting to get a little anxious that this wouldn't arrive before I was about to leave Seattle. Thankfully it did, <laughs> but that is something to keep in mind if you do purchase from this brand. I'm not trying to discourage anyone from purchasing from them because honestly, this seller was super, super nice. I actually made an extra insert purchase, but the, the day after I purchased, they actually emailed me and said that one of the inserts I had bought was sold out and they weren't restocking. And so they immediately refunded me. So truly like the seller itself was great. So here it is. 
Oh, that's really nice. And the reason why I actually found them was because they have one of my favorite dash dashboards. So this isn't it, but this is really great too. So this is one of the dashboards I got, but this is truly the reason why I bought the bulk. I bought anything from them, honestly, it's because of this dashboard. They have other cities too, and if I had known it was gonna take two and a half weeks to get to me, I actually would have probably would have bought more of the city scapes. But yeah, this Tokyo one is so stunning. So here's one of the inserts I bought, which is a brain dump. And then I have a bunch of the monthly ones. So this is the um, overviews of the months. And this is like basically every day of the year. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put it back in the plastic bag because I'm about to use it. And then I did buy a credit card system here that I'll be putting stuff in. So let's put my planner together. Here's all the stuff on top of it. I've literally never done this before, but this is actually so exciting for me. So I'm gonna move everything. I'm actually gonna start with the dashboards. I will say I am thinking of getting a clear acrylic dashboard for on top of this. I did not get the worded ones just because I didn't see any set that had the words I wanted in them. So I just got the clear ones as a divider. Let's put the monthlies right here. I am personally going to put all the way until the end of the year, just because there's only six months left. So, and I'm trying to plan, I'm actually planning into October right now. So that is going to be helpful for me. Dailies here. Let's do three months at a time. I'm going to throw in the brain dump. For my first planner, I didn't want to go too crazy on the inserts, so I just kind of got the ones that I knew that I would be using the most, and so that's why I didn't get something for the back. But I am going to put this credit card slot at the beginning, just to act as like a little bit of a cover, because I really don't want to ruin that one. Okay, so... Over here, I'm actually gonna put the lifestyle stickers here. So there's that. I literally just had it. Oh, the payday one. Here it is. Probably end up switching this around. Oh, I thought there'd be more. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna keep that. I thought there'd be more than one, but okay. So this probably won't stay here for very long. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna start beautifying it. I have several things right here that I've collected over the years that honestly for the longest time I've been trying to figure out what to do with and I think I found it. So I'm gonna start, I purchased this card that I'm just going to insert right here for now. And then I have these little gold clips that I've purchased. I, I don't remember where, honestly. But that is also why I purchased um, clear inserts is so that I can, you know, beautify it the way I want to. So I'm gonna start with this Seattle postcard. It's not 
clip it on there. I probably will end up buying those like fancy clips that I know everyone uses, but for now I think this will have to do. And then for this one, I'm gonna throw in this one of New York. I'm gonna clip it to the side like that. This is from one of my favorite hotels in Palm Springs, Korakia. If you're ever in Palm Springs, please go here. The nicest people, the nicest service, and the nicest property ever. This, I think it was a postcard from somewhere I went to. And this note card there actually, because I think it's perfect. And I like how thin these are, so they're not super bulky. Okay, so. That is that for now. I like that they're clear. I'll just do it like this so I do remember it. Where am I going to put these? That actually fit perfect, unexpectedly. This one's probably gonna go up to go up front. So I'll just leave that there for now. I'm gonna put this right here. So again, I remember it. So that is the planner so far. One last thing that I forgot to put on is this today. die so perfect timing here is my planner so far this is the thickness of it i will say the sticky notes really take up quite a bit of space if i had known that i probably would not have gotten so many but here is just a quick flip through so i have some sticky notes here some of the dot stickers the metallic stencil i have the credit card slot here which i think i'm actually going to probably move to the middle because you can't really see the Tokyo in, uh, dashboard. So then I have an inbox, which maybe I need to put something under it so it doesn't mesh with this in the back. But here is another dashboard. And then we go into the monthly overview. This is what I like about the noted ones is that they had a list here a blank page and then you go into a larger one month overview which I feel like a lot of the other monthly overviews that I saw from other brands they were pretty small and I actually like it bigger like this because I can write more things in here and then we go into the dailies right here I also again for the noted and co ones I like that I there's a lot of blank space but it's positioned in a way where I have more than enough space to write all my to-do things for every day and I also have like an extra to-do list right here which I really like. And then it goes into my brain dump which is there's just so much blank space for me to use up. And then my dotted lines if I need to take any notes or make any like longer lists. And then here is my dotted pages and then that is it so that is the planner um, if you're interested in learning more about how the wear and tear of this vintage Tiger leather Louis Vuitton planner is like let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of the brands that I use or this planner or this process let me know I'd be more than happy to help but hopefully this video was enjoyable for you and hopefully I'll see you next time for another one bye guys Oh, 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 oh,